my bad. What were you they dreaming about? The first time Thomas and I met. Oh, you guys give me so much hope. I mean, how much do you really know about this guy anyway? Him, his family, they're from Panama. Now, I know I was probably out of line for not feeling bad about your miscarriage, but I'm glad you're not attached to this guy. Cut the bull, cut the bull. Why haven't you completed your mission? So if someone kills me, you're going to turn the other cheek and pray to some white god? your father. He died trying to protect Protect his... what? His master? Didn't you hear me calling you? No, I'm sorry, Ma. I have my headphones on. Hello everyone, I am Kareem McMichael and I am the first place winner for the 2020 East Georgia College Exit Stage Right Playwright Competition. Of course, due to COVID-19, like many colleges across the nation, schools were forced to shut down. And so this year we were not able to present first, second, and third place winners works for the particular competition. But I did want to send a special thank you to Sebastian Virtus and all the students and faculty and staff up there who voted for my play to win number one. I actually received my first place medallion in the mail today and I'm very excited about that. So I wanted to say thank you all to you all and I really appreciate it and I hope that everyone out there is doing well and please stay safe during this time. Hopefully in the future I get to present to you my first place winning play, The D Word. But for now, take care and stay safe. Thank you. New Water of the Ages by Kareem McMichael. Lights come up on the stage. The set is dressed with a chair, a couch, a table, and a phone. On the sofa is Nikki Carter. Nikki is dressed in a business suit. She is reading a newspaper when the phone rings. Hello. Listen to me, WXOF News. Do you really think that you're going to get away with running my name through the mud? I'm an upstanding politician and friend to many in this community. I'll get past this scandal. This is the last time you'll double cross me. Threat? I never made a threat, but I'm telling you that this is a fight you won't win. You don't have proof of that. Listen, I'm a very busy woman, as you know, and I won't entertain this any longer. Goodbye. Nikki hangs up the phone. Enter Jason. Jason is dressed in a sports coat. Dress shirt and slacks, stage right. Jason is Nikki's press secretary, holding some papers and a folder. What's going on in here, Nikki? You tell me, Jason. 
I keep getting these calls from reporters and people hounding me about these accusations. I just need a little bit more time to put out some of these fires. How much more time? It's been over a month and the primaries are coming up. It will be cleaned up. There's some good press out there about you as well. Not enough. And me holding dogs and smiling isn't enough. Nikki. Don't Nikki me. I'm the one being hung out there in public. I know, I know. Well, good. Start acting like it. You're my press secretary, and right now you're doing a terrible job. Don't make me go find a new one. Whoever he is will not be nearly as good as me. My resume speaks for itself. And whoever he is certainly won't make love to you like I do. <laughs> now is not the time to mix business with pleasure. Jason begins to massage on Nikki's shoulders. You didn't, uh, you didn't say that after the fundraising gala. Yeah, well, that was before I got another call from WXOF News. Oh, my God, it's WXOF News. Nobody takes them serious, at least not the people voting for you. It's just a bunch of one-sided fake news. It's not just them. It's, it's the Bibb City Tribune, NCC, WKAM. Everyone is after me, and, and I'm not this bad person. I know that. I got you, okay? Jason continues to hold Nikki's hands. Jason, you met me at a very strange time in my life. This person that you've seen over the last year, it's not me. I'm not this weak person. Well, show me the strong Nikki, the electrifying Nikki that I want to know. What's even stranger still is our relationship. I never used to mix business with pleasure, <clears throat> but now here I am. If some people knew, they might think it odd. What they think doesn't matter. Plus, our relationship is convenient for us right now. Well, so what's the plan? Because right now I've got a city full of people who think I'm a liar and worse, a sexual predator. Jason continues to hold on to Nikki's hands. We will show them that you're none of those things. But how? Why would people even believe this? I was molested as a child, and people know that. I would never do anything like this. We will beat this. We must beat this. There are men who have done so many bad things, abused their power. They still have their office in politics, but they want me out. You will beat those men, Nikki. You are poised <clears throat> to make history here if you win. You've got that right. My father was mayor of this town, then two-time governor. My mother served on many committees. My uncle is state senator right now. And you are a councilwoman who's about to become the first female mayor of the city. Will I? Who's going to stop you? The press, if we don't handle it. Have a seat and we can discuss a game plan. The phone rings. It just keeps ringing. I will answer it. Jason answers the phone. Hello? <laughs> well, she's not available for comment. This is her press secretary, Jason Lockhart. You'll know more details once we get through the court proceedings and release the documents proving her innocence. Okay, bye. Thank you. So what's the plan? Well, we know your lawyers have been working very hard on this case. There's no evidence. 17-year-old was never in your room. There's no proof according to the hotel cameras. And as far as the two women that came forward... There's a loud knock at the door. Who could that be? You want me to handle it? Yes. I'm going over into the study. I don't want to speak to anyone right now. Nikki exits the stage right. There's another loud knock at the door. Jason answers the door, stage left. Enter John Tapp. John, dressed in a tailored suit and tie. John, what are you doing here? John walks past Jason and crosses stage right. Great, just walk in without being invited, huh? Read the headlines? Watching the news, boy! Yes, John, <coughs> it is my job, after all. Jason takes out his cell phone and presses only three buttons and casually places <coughs> his phone on the table. Well, you can see it's a mess out there. I'm coming by to tell Nikki, drop out now before it gets worse. I'll be the next mayor of this town now. Don't stand there looking like you want to spit on me, boy. As long as you know where you stand with me, and Councilwoman Carter is not dropping out of this race. Well, she needs to. I'm trying to tell her. Politics is no place for little girls. So who is it for, John? Just old white men? That is not what I said. 
but it is a man's world. Even James Brown said it. <laughs> yeah, well, you obviously didn't listen to the whole song. But anyway, once we get past this scandal that you have erupted, she will prevail over you. That is not likely. She was on thin ice already. After I exposed her little secret, got that boy, those two girls, conformed with what she did to them, she is not getting elected. She never harmed them, and you know it. Showering them with gifts was not to lower them into something twisted, but it was to help them because they were from poor families. She's really giving. We can't say the same thing about you. Believe what you want, boy. Believe what you want. You know what else I believe? What's that? That you've been smuggling drugs in through the port. Excuse me, boy. There is no excuse for you, and I am not your boy. <laughs> Years ago, I started doing some digging and research on you. Be careful what you dig for, boy. Not everything that's underneath is what it seems. You keep going on. Somebody might have to go digging to find you. I am not worried. But anyway, you have been smuggling drugs in through the port. I have them. You are a fool, boy. You believe I'd really be involved with something like that? The proof is in the photos. Jason opens his briefcase and pulls out a folder. He slides John a folder with photos. John opens the folder. He's proved nothing. Anything could be in those bags. Nice try, John. That white powder certainly <coughs> isn't flour, especially with the amount of money being exchanged. <laughs> Double crossing son of a... Capture these. What will it take to make this go away? No amount would. Oh, come on. Everybody's got his price. And you cannot put these out there. No, I'm good. But soon these photos will go public. I have the money and the power to make them go away. Just like I kept this smuggling operation under wraps for years. A lot of people got a hand in this. I'll convince the public these photos aren't what they seem. They're photoshopped or something. Jason picks up his cell phone again. Well, you definitely can't convince them that this is not your voice on this recording confessing to the drug smuggling operation. I've been recording you this whole time, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki enters from stage right. It's not so pretty when someone has dirt on you, is it, John? Nikki, even if this does get exposed, it's okay. Because you're going down with me. I'm not going down with you. Everything you throw at us, we will challenge. You dare challenge a man like me with my power? I've always had more money and power than you, John. It's time that I use it. Time to fight fire with fire. This is only the beginning. You all think you're taking me down. And I think you should be leaving now. John exits stage left. Now, am I getting back to the Nikki Carter you wanted to get to know? The phone rings. Nikki answers it. This is Nikki Carter. It's reporters asking about John smuggling drugs in the photos. Have you already sent them out? Yes, I did. Now let's go get your scandal fixed and make you the next mayor. Blackout. The end. <laughs> Jamal, what's wrong? Why are you pacing so hard? I just found out the most devastating news. 
Is it the assholes at your job? No. For once, it's not them, believe it or not, as much as they get on my nerves, but no. Then what is it? Have a seat. You have to promise not to say anything, or at least until I find a way to tell Jasmine. Tell Jasmine what? Alvin is cheating on her. He's what? Cheating on her. I knew it. I never liked him anyway. Well, I'm not his biggest fan either. And after we accepted him as our friend's lover, he goes and screws it up. When did you find out? Well, about 2 o'clock this afternoon. Do you know who he's out there canoodling with? Do you remember that girl that used to wear the I Love Georgia t-shirt more than once in a week? The biology major bitch? Her, yes. Oh, hell no. That's her. It's already bad enough he's cheating on her. And with her? Didn't she beat Jasmine for a spot on homecoming court one year? To think about it, she did. Yes. Of all the dirty things he's done, this is the lowest. I should go slash his tires. I'm not even worried about retaliation yet. I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to tell Jasmine. Her poor, happy-go-lucky heads in the cloud self can't take this kind of news. Remember that time I tried to tell her that Alvin had a girlfriend when they first started going <laughs> together? She just didn't want to believe it. And you remember that time I tried to tell her that Alvin was trying to hit on you and she just didn't want to believe it? And that time when... Okay, I guess we get the point. We can go on all day about how she just didn't want to believe us. But she listens to you and I think you should tell her before she hears it from someone else. You're right. I just have to figure out how to. I mean, you know, I gotta break it to her easy. And I can't believe it. We really sat here to set this guy to be with him. What the hell is wrong with you? She devils, man. Women. Can't stand them. I resent that. Before you explain yourself, I've been meaning to ask you, did you borrow my ring the other night when you went out? No. Hmm. Some she devil must have stole it from me when I was showing her the view. Jamal, we're college students. We don't have a view. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Well, why do you hate women so much? I walked in on Sheila today with another guy. What do you mean with? You know, like with with, like doing the do, the nasty nasty. Ah, yes, well we get the point now. I can't believe she would do something like this. Well, you remember that time I tried to tell you that she came on to me and you just didn't listen? And that time I tried to tell you that she was trying to talk to another guy when she was with you? You just didn't want to believe it. And you remember okay, that okay, time? look, I get it. You guys could go all day long about this stuff. Indeed, yes, I tried to warn you about this girl and the girl before that one, but you just didn't want to listen. See, this is exactly why I remain single. No, you remain single because you choose to be a thought and go around showing ladies the view. First of all, I only show three ladies the view, and you know that. Second of all, I am focused on my school and work right now, so in fact, why am I even explaining myself to you? <laughs> because you're a dumbass con major, y'all just like rambling and talking. Listen to me, you hang ass business management major. It's not my fault you're the one getting cheated on. Okay, that's enough. Friends shouldn't be fighting, we should be helping each other. Lisa's right. I apologize for taking my frustrations out on you. And I apologize for making you feel bad when you already feel like shit. But I still resent your remarks. Whatever. So what guy did you catch her cheating on you with? A guy I think we all know very well. It better not be Alvin. That's exactly who it... Wait, you guys know something I don't? No, it's just that Jamal told me today that Alvin was cheating on Jasmine with that girl, the biology major, the one that beat Jasmine during homecoming elections. That home wrecking my Well, I just want to know, what are you going to do about it, Alex? I don't know yet. What do you mean you don't know yet? Well, what'd you say when you barged in on him? Well, I didn't exactly barge in. Like, I opened the door, I peeked, and once I saw what was happening, I freaked out. I panicked. I just ran off. What do you mean you ran off? You should have ran up in there wrecking stuff. Jamal's right. I mean, I knew that you guys experienced this before. What do you say I should do? Well, when I caught Corey cheating on me, you know what I did. I confronted him. No, actually, first you damaged some of his property, and then you caused the scene, and then you confronted him. Oh, Jamal, what do you know about being cheated on? You never even get that far in a relationship. Well, <laughs> what is this gang up on Jamal Day because I don't get committed? And we keep forgetting the two people that have a problem here, and I'm not one of them. Hey, guys. Hey, Jasmine. Okay, that's creepy. Why are you all looking at me like that? <laughs> like what? Nothing, girl. How was your day? Well, it's been one hell of a day. I just need a break from school and work. I just need to, you know, catch some fresh air and think over some things. You're going through the change of life. Might as well be. Well, it could be worse. It will be. What the hell is that supposed to mean? What Alex is trying to say is Jamal has something to tell you. Good job, Lisa. 
Well, Jasmine, the reason why we've been looking at you that way, you know that friends look at friends when they know some things that might not be good to hear is because- Just spit it out. What? This is about the biology major, bitch. Yes, that's exactly who this is about. When'd you find out? When I was getting my nails done yesterday. You knew since yesterday and you didn't tell us? You? Honest to God, Jasmine, I am hurt. Yes, you didn't tell us. You? This isn't yes, happening to you. you didn't this tell is happening us. to me. So you still should have told us something. We're your friends. But you know what? It's all right. It's all out there in the open now. What I want to know is, what did you say to him when you confronted him? Well, I haven't confronted him. I wanted to take a trip and think things over, True. but he doesn't know True. that I know. You haven't confronted him yet? What's wrong with you and Alex? You need to get it together. This isn't happening to you. Any of you. <laughs> Don't cap me out so quickly. What's wrong with you? I walked in on Sheila with another man. Oh, Alex, I'm so sorry. I didn't know you were going through the same thing. I mean, unlike some other people. Well, he's not done yet. Uh, yeah, um, the other man, the other man was Alvin. Now this, I don't understand. <sighs> Giving tender love and care. And they do this to us? Why would they do this to us, Alex? Because they're life ruiners. They ruin people's lives. You know what? I had enough of this sitting around stuff. Some action needs to be taken here. You know what? You right, Jamal. Lisa, do you remember you what you did to Corey when you called him Chase some hot seat? Which time? It doesn't even matter. Let's go find Alvin and mess up his car. Well, we're not supposed to, but to hell with it. Let's go. Let's go. So. What's it gonna be, Alex? I still don't know. Listen to me. There's a man out here right now ruining people relationships. And that relationship just so happened to be yours. Now I'm giving you permission to behave badly and go out here and kick Alvin's ass. I got your back. Let's go. Let's go.